My name is Mark Marshall. I'm from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Um, wrestling has been part of our family for years upon years. I love to compete. There's something about it, just one-on-one -on -one out there on the mat and nobody else. My brother and I started wrestling um, at a very young age. I really fell in love with the sport. My uncle, um, Bob Marshall, wrestled for Purdue and he was an alternate on the Olympic team. And then my uncle Floyd was uh, Finley University's first national champion. I was fortunate enough to get a, a full scholarship uh, to Indiana State University. The USA Wrestling has a veterans division and I decided to go back and compete one more time and um, I, I won the world championships out there. I wanted to get involved in coaching so um, I've been here at Seton Hill University for uh, this is my 11th season so I've been here since the program started. This is the best part of my day coming into this room hands down. No matter what kind of day I have outside when I walk into this room things just for some reason they just change for me. Well, it was um, what we call grind day. So a grind day is basically where you wrestle a lot of live. Beginning in the third period, I took a step to the side and, and I just fell from there. I just remember getting called over and I hadn't even seen anything yet. But when I got there, just realized something was not right, was definitely wrong. He didn't respond to me when I asked him if he was okay. I was sort of in and out of consciousness off and on. So I told him to call 911. Because the team's so close, everybody kind of just jumped to where they were needed. We had Coach Tucker and another wrestler giving me CPR. We had one of the guys getting a hold of our trainer to bring the AED machine down. We had another guy on the phone with the ambulance. And then the rest of the team went out and blocked traffic so the trainer can get down here across the street. And then they opened it up again. Then they blocked it again for the ambulance to come through is now kind of just a blur, it just kind of happened, but at the time it, it just took off like a, almost a well-oiled machine. I woke up you know, in, in the ER and, um, and it just hit me there. Um, I was laying there and I was like, oh my goodness, I, I, I just had a heart attack. Once I kind of put the story together and heard the story and started reading the story in the newspaper, I was quite amazed. And um, the more amazing thing was how well his group of wrestlers teamed up to help him out. And it's very similar to the teamwork that we have in cardiac surgery. It's not just me. It's a team of people that help get everyone better. And I'm very proud of the team that I have, just like he's proud of the uh, men that he coaches. Um, they did an outstanding job. And they're really the, you know, the heroes, in my opinion, of the story. Dr. Suzuki was, was absolutely amazing. Um, he came in that the night before the surgery, and he probably sent over an hour with my wife and I. His exact words, I remember, were, Mark, I'll stay here all night and talk to you if you want. And, and as soon as he said that, I was like, this is the guy. This is the guy that I want in my corner right now. I kept emphasizing how important my quality of life is. I, what I love to coach here. Um, this is everything to me, and if I lost this, I mean, you're taking a huge part of my life away from me. Uh, there's nothing worse, in my opinion, than taking someone's passion and then saying, no, you can't do something that you truly, truly love. The reason why we do the operation, the reason why I do what I do every day, is to allow people to be able to resume the lifestyle and activities that make life worth living. Uh, and with the guys, again, he stays positive and keeps them motivated. He plays a big part of this team and this coaching staff, and that's not going to change. You know what was uh, amazing? The, the, the night that I was in the hospital, the whole team was there. We had, we had over 30 guys in my room. He's a tough man, and I knew somehow he'd get through. I didn't know how, but I knew he would. I was glad to see that that's how it happened. Unbelievable. I mean, I think it was a week and a half later, he was back here in the room look good as new. Well, everything that he went through and uh, just come back and he's back in here as soon as he's able to, it just shows how strong and tough he is. I mean, they say tragedy brings out the best in you. And I think that really, really happened with us here and it kind of tied us together and has almost been a driving force for the team this year. He's like a father figure to all of us here. And he's been here longer than anybody, so. I mean, that was his fight to come back. He's just a remarkable person.